1.04 Industrial Biotechnology. In today's lecture, we will study about microbial genomics and bioinformatics. Genome of the microorganism can help us understand better about their activities. So this is the genome that is actually driving the particular micro microorganism and even we humans that the activities that we do, the food that we utilize is due to the genome and the DNA that is present inside our cell. With good genome pipeline and mapping, the identification of desirable metabol uh, metabolic pathways and their adaptation in manufacturing process will be accelerated. So if we use the genome and we analyze and map this genome, actually we can get detail about the metabolic pathways that how they are utilizing a particular substance and how they are producing a particular product and also the manufacturing of the process can be can be accelerated once we know about the metabolic pathways. So how the microbial genomics actually work? We randomly sequence a particular genome and we assemble their genes and annotate the genes and give function to that particular gene. So once we know the gene function, the data is released to the other scientists community and the scientists work on this data in order to exploit their use. Here we can see the microbial genome, how the microbial genomics work and how natural products are biosynthesized. We can see the genome mining through the genome mining, genome sequencing, cultivating and uh, cultivation and metagenomics or heterologous expression. We can get a lot of products while with the natural biosynthetic, we can also discover novel chemistry and use these products. So by the combination of these two uh, processes, we at the end can get a lot of products that can be used and utilized by humans. Then bioinformatics, the bioinformatics is the use of the computational technologies to manage and analyze biological data. The huge amount of genomic data produced through DNA sequences can often be very confusing and difficult to analyze. So once we have the data from the genomics, we got the sequences from the genome. What we will be doing with it, we will be using bioinformatics technologies and different softwares in order to analyze this data and either to annotate this data. Using bioinformatics technique, we can map the position of gene. What we can do using bioinformatics, that we can map the position of particular gene in this genome and elicit their function and infer evolutionary relation. And we can also see what is the function of this particular gene and where it lies in the evolutionary perspective. Here we can see that bioinformatics actually happening in a various ways like system biology, evolutionary biology, then cellular network analysis. We can see structural bioinformatics like the protein structure that we predict with the help of bioinformatics. Uh, artificial intelligence is actually um, the one used in the neural sector, uh, uh, circuits, the evolution, etc. Uh, then the gene uh, expression can also be uh, checked with the help of bioinformatics, how uh, a particular gene responds to a stress and how the gene is developed. Uh, then the protein expression, for example, how the proteins are made and how many proteins are made from the particular gene or DNA. Uh, and the sequence is the one of the important that we sequence the particular genome, then we can then check for a disease. Uh, we can uh, we use most of the time we use next generation sequences for this purpose.